crock pot to crack. We get that. After a few years service. Hey everybody. Um, I finally broke down and decided to try one of my local Walmart stick blenders because they had one with a 250 watt motor, which is what you need, with not too many attachments. All those attachments just get wasted for us, or for me, in the soaping world of hot process soap. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I'll use some of these other ones for cold process soap. But getting one that doesn't have a lot of attachments saves you money. And so this one is a Bella. And I think it was around $20. Maybe it was more. Hang on, let me pull it out. Now, see, this looks dangerous, but it might be good for a hand, you know, when you're working with it. But I mean, you could just work with a whisk. But I mean, you could attach it to it and then whisk around. Um, and then I really liked uh, the fact that it had the open end and the holes uh, around the sides. I like something that gets, if you have a flat one, it'll lock to the bottom of your crock pot and won't turn loose. And so that's good. And then let's get it on out of here. And then let me get the plastic off of it. And so here is the base. It has a nice weight to it. Uh, it's six inches long stainless steel um, blending arm with two speeds, which is what you want and it locks on and locks off with the screw and I really prefer one that has a dislock button so you press the button and it falls off um, these sometimes give way a little quicker maybe it's because I'm bad I don't know <laughs> anyway and so I got this new stick blender but we're gonna try something even newer something I haven't seen on Facebook but I mean on YouTube but not you know there's so many oh Got to get that off. Um, so I'm going to get this thing plugged up. And I got my lye water ready. And uh, I got to get my gloves on. And I know you're going to think this is just crazy. But you guys, y'all patrons, y'all bought me a camera. I'm so excited. Now it's just a used one. $69.95 or some snot at the unclaimed baggage and it's a few years old but maybe it'll work for a while you know look I've got a camera trained right over this crock pot and I'm so proud of my patrons for helping me out with this this here this here monies and and Steve let me borrow one of his old tripods so it's not a, you know, I need a mount, something that'll mount to this board that I can just slide, oh, I've knocked the pin off, that I can just slide down as we're going. But this is one step towards the future of better videos, all right? So now, have you ever had a crock pot to crack? We get that. After a few years service, all of a sudden we'll have oils. When, now, not when, but it's when you get it hot. You put oil in it when it's cold, it, it won't leak. But when it gets hot, that seal, it, the crack expands and it'll leak. So we decided to try these slow cooker liners by Reynolds and see how they hold up to soap making. So this crock pot is an extra one. So if it's, if it, you know, if it messes up, I have lost the money of the soap, but at least there's not a soap not being made. Um, so now I'm going to bring it over to the other camera and we'll see if it works. Okay, so it says it's recording. And so what we're going to do is, is I saw that it looks all, you know, bunched up in the bottom after the oil's melted. So I thought, well, I may need to clean, uh, you know, get it flatter on the bottom. So, first thing I'm going to do is try that. Let's try to just get some of the excess out because 
the um, and I hope you can see that now I guess you couldn't see that all of it um, but I use this spatula to, to spread out all of the bottom surface and get the air bubbles out and so in goes the stick blender this may be really loud on your ears and so you know just be prepared to turn your volume down I, I'm, I'm new to this and because of my shelf above that's as high as I could get it away and so we'll just give it a whirl Now I'm being really careful not to let it sit on the bottom while it's blending because I'm afraid it will pick up the plastic and, and start twisting it around and ripping a hole in it. So I'm trying to keep it really close to the top. <laughs> And that can be dangerous because if you let those little holes uh, come out from underneath the line, the fill line, you'll get spurted. So you got to be careful doing this. you can see it but there's swirls of oil that's not blended I'm not sure first time using the camera all right now I'm just gonna take and and uh, cream it around just like this just to make sure I haven't messed it missed anything so and I'm gonna try to work out a better loca location for this thing so you can see all of the crock pot next time you can see like here I'm cleaning off my stick blender my new stick blender and you with a spatula and you can't see it okay so I got it rigged to where from this tripod so that you could see it a little bit better. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to scrape down my edges. There we go. And this is what you call a light trace. But of course, trace is not important with hot process soap. It's that you well blend. So there we go. So we're going to cook this and see if it cooks normally and if the bag holds up. Okay, everybody. So I hope this worked. I hope this recorded. I guess I'll find out in a minute. So here is our um, soap already made now. I had to bring it out from underneath the shelf for y'all to really be able to see better. And even then, it's not the best. But we'll just keep working on it. This tripod may just not be the right one. We may have to go with another one. But what I really need is I need something that will attach to this and just slide up and down uh, on the, the shelf. But one step at a time. Thank you so much, patrons, for helping us out with this um, used camera. Uh, it's just totally awesome. So we've got more things we need to buy, but this is the first step to making better videos. So now I'm going to put the lid on this, and we're just going to cook it like normal and see what happens. I'll keep you posted as I go along. Hey, everybody. All right, so we've been working on this soap, and it's time to stir it, but I've got sort of something weird going on. So come check it out with me. All right, so right over here in the corner, I have got this brown thing going. But you know what? It's on the other side of the bag, I think. Yeah? Let me fold this over. Yeah, there's something going on on the other side. 
and it looks like the bag has leaked. Yep. It looks like the bag has leaked and the soap that got on the other side is cooking more strongly than the soap on this side of the bag but it doesn't look like a real bad leak so but if you could see that and um, let me see if I can zoom you in see that there's soap and there was no soap in there at all so I guess the lie or the heat I'm surely not the heat because these things these bags are meant you know for this kind of heat so um, yeah you can definitely see you know that it's definitely something leaked in the corners or at least that corner so we'll just have to see what happens but the soap inside the bag seems fine we'll just have to see if it stays that way let me see oh it's very difficult there we go so now you can see so you know this is on the other side of the bag so it doesn't seem to be hurting anything at the moment uh, we'll just have to see as this continues okay so <clears throat> we're gonna add our super fats with turmeric and see if we get any more leakage see what happens see if we can even blend with this plastic getting in the way I sort of had to scoop some up out of the edges there that had gotten under the plastic. Well, everything seems to be operating normally here. I was really careful. I don't think I hit the bag with my stick blender. I was really, really cautious. Ow, <laughs> it's hot. I'm trying to hold the plastic so I can scrape the edges. All right. So if you have a cracked crock pot and you can't afford to buy another one just yet, you know, this might be a option. I'm going to go and get that off in the garbage. Well, that happens, I guess. <laughs> I borrowed Steve's um, tripod, but I have a feeling it'll never be used again. Um, right here is where I am getting leakage. So, but, so we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, everybody, we're back to single one camera. I uh, I expect, I'm hoping that the camera was able to save the footage before it crashed and hit the floor. <laughs> so anyway, so we're back to old school until I can rig or buy something to get this camera stable and above my soap. So anyway, it was good while it lasted. At least the camera, I hope, did not break when it hit the cement floor. Blah. Uh, it, it did seem to be fine and it did seem to record afterwards. I will know soon. So anyway, so I've added my super fats, added my colorant, I've added my essential oils, and now I'm stirring the soap up. It seems to be working fine. As um, soon as we get this done, I'm going to pull this out and let y'all guys see what it looks like under it. So, 
I'm putting three spoonfuls in. Hope I got this where you can see it, yep. I sort of did two great big ones, so I did a little bitty in. All right, so now we gotta get our activated charcoal. We're using Essential Depot's activated charcoal. Woohoo! I'm so excited. And I need a spoon. I thought there was a spoon I'll in there. I'll use your spoon right there. Yes, I'll use it. There we go. All right, we'll use our TEA spoon. So we're gonna sit and put our activated charcoal. And I'm doing two heaping, well, not two heaping, because I can tell that's had enough. So I guess that was one and a half heaping. Uh, spoonfuls of activated charcoal. And then we're gonna add our other soap to the top. I think that's a crispy there. I know. I think it fell off the side of the plastic right there. in the bottom of the bag or I just made one I don't know which hang on this could be lethal <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> uh, anyway so now I'm gonna just take and I'm gonna stir this up some by just doing circles same thing here stir this up doing some circles and then I'm gonna do a twist soap seems to be working just fine no problems Okay, so there is our bar number nine, and we got that out of the way. Hang on, Bridget, we'll set that up there where it goes. And so now, let's look in our crock pot. I hope y'all can see good. So, as you can see, I must have done it with the spoon but I broke it up in a couple of places. I don't know, that looks a little mel melted. It could be melted. I hope it's not just melted. I hope I just hit it with a spoon. Um, <clears throat> um, and we have that on the bottom. So <clears throat> maybe double lining it would be a better choice. Yeah, did um, we have any leaking through to the bottom? Well, that's what- Well, I mean underneath. There was nothing in there. I washed it really good before I put the liner oh, okay. in. So this is what uh, leaked. It's not really bad. Um, so, you know, scale of one to 10, we're gonna give this an eight. What do you say? You have a broken crock pot, a cracked crock pot that's leaking. Mm -hmm. 
trial uh, a, a oven liner. Let me see that box again so I can show them again what it looks yeah. like. It's still. And so. Yeah, I give it an eight. Yeah. And it could be, I mean, it really looked like I cut places open in with a spoon. And this yeah. is supposed to be able to tolerate high heat. And I had this on low. So that's why I think it didn't melt. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> I think I must have hit it with a sharp metal spoon. Maybe yeah. plastic spoons would be better to use when you're using the liners. Now, Maybe. that might be an option, too. I probably just used, I mean, because as you always say, these things are sharp. Yeah, well, using them on those turkey cookers they get quite sharp because the turkey cookers ain't got a nice porcelain finish in it there you go it's quite rough like yeah. sandpaper yeah so so anyway I so i think we did good yeah all yeah, right not much soap loss we got to remember to mark this one though and and realize that it has to have a liner because if we don't mark maybe this, i'll stick me a sticker on the back yeah but but this but you know there's times when the crock pots get separated from the bottoms maybe so fingernail polish yeah, fingernail polish on the actual um, crock pot itself uh, would tell you that you need to. Yeah, I know, but it's too greasy right now, uh, you know, from hand, from the soap and stuff. My hair's not. No, we need to clean this with soap and water. And then fingernail polish to the rescue. Yep. Uh, that's what we'll try. All right. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. I'm sorry that my other camera fell from the from the shelf. I mean, it was just perfectly standing up, and then boom, it was in the floor. <laughs> so um, I hope uh, that that footage was useful, and we will be able to make this video because because I was doing a lot of stuff right before that camera hit boom, and it said it wanted to fix the you know, the data that was lost in the fall. And I was like, yes, do it now, do it now, do it now. And so I told it to, so I don't know, maybe we got video. <laughs> Bye everybody.